welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today we're going to do a really delicious chicken recipe that you can do for any lunch or for a lot of people. It's not that difficult to do. We're going to do a paprika chicken and we're going to pair it with a roasted pepper sauce. And we're also going to serve it with a bit of mashed potatoes, which are my favorite. I'm really sorry if you feel that my voice is off. I'm really, really sick. I'm coming out of it now, but just so that you know that this is not my normal voice. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below, and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this paprika chicken with a pepper sauce, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. To start, I have here my pieces of chicken. I also have paprika. We're going to mix it with a bit of olive oil and we're going to season with salt and pepper. We're going to rub the paprika with the olive oil into the chicken so that it mixes in the flavors. And we're also going to season it with salt and pepper. Now we're going to sear the chicken on both sides and you want to get them really nice and golden because then they're going to finish cooking in the oven. Now the chicken is going to go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. Ideally use a meat thermometer and when it reaches 73 degrees Celsius then it means that it's done and it's going to be nice and juicy. We definitely do not want to dry it out. You want to cook in the same oil where we did the chicken, the onions, and if there's any excess of fat, you want to remove that as well. And we're going to cook them until they're really nice and soft and translucent. And then we're going to add a garlic clove. This is going to be for the sauce. Now I'm going to add the roasted peppers. I bought already roasted peppers, but of course you can make them at home, put them inside the oven on a really high temperature and let them go black and then peel them. Now that all the flavors have mixed in in our pan, we're going to process it to have a really nice and smooth sauce. If it needs more liquid, you can just use water or in my case, I'm going to use vegetable stock. For the mashed potatoes, I have here the potatoes that I previously baked. I like them like this because the final product is drier, which means that we can add a bit more butter and a bit more milk and make them more silky. You want to pass these through a potato press as soon as you can touch them. You want them to be hot because if not, the work is going to be really, really harder. So I'm just going to cut them in half, take off the center and just pass them through a potato press. You could also just mash them up with a fork depending on the texture that you like. All of this we're going to put onto a pot and mix it in with some butter and milk. The amount of milk that is in the recipe is probably the minimum that you need for mashed potatoes, but you just have to adjust it looking at the texture and how you like it.
That was my paprika chicken with roasted pepper sauce. I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video. It makes me really, really happy. Please, if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the blog, don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything savory or sweet that you would like me to teach you how to make, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. It's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.